So the last time I reported on Boosie, you know what I'm talking about? He had pretty much came out and said that his brother actually forced his signature on a $10 million deal in which he took home $5 million. And now it looks like his brother TQ is snapping back, you know what I'm talking about? Also, Boosie said his mama ain't rocking with him right now because of what he's doing to his brother. You already know I'm going to get into what his brother said right after the intro. Also, it looks like Rod Wave has cut off Fredo Bang, according to Fredo Bang, because of his new family friendship with NBA young boy check it out man all right yes you can get this merch at keytalkmedia.com also I'm going to be sending out promo codes for all y'all as well anyways that I see join the channel so it looks like uh you know TQ who's the brother of Boosie has actually came out and he's doing some type of defense among himself because obviously everybody knows that Boosie is literally filing a criminal complaint and with the criminal complaint that he's actually filing his brother may end up having to go to jail in which he said you know since he's doing that criminal complaint his mother Boosie's mama has stopped talking to him well the brothers now came out with his own long statement and I'm gonna read it to y'all had to let that chair up for a second. Uh, the pretty much his brother came out and said, I'm trying to keep it positive, but what I'm witnessing with my brother is the dirtiest I've ever seen. Lying on social media, throwing me under the bus for paperwork we agreed on. So right there, he's pretty much saying that they agreed upon it. Like, now, I don't know why Boosie would allow his brother to sign his signature on a deal worth $10 million. Uh, and then, of course, obviously, Boosie saying he didn't get any of the money. I don't know why he would do that unless he was away in jail or something like that. Then that would be a case. But I don't know. We'll just have to see as more time goes on. And then his brother continued and said, then years later, claiming forgery for money, a lick. Now I'm painting a negative picture of my mama like he was treated unfairly or like she ever did anything to him. He's going to be punished for this. Eh. So, I mean, obviously, they're both against each other right now. He's now saying that Boosie's going to be punished by the Lord for what he's actually doing. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, for, for committing the sins. You know what I'm talking about? But anyways, we'll just have to see how it plays out in court. Uh, and it'll come down to whether the whether the brother really did, did the forgery and cat and didn't give him any of the $5 million. And and also, Boosie said that he did it multiple times. Obviously, if Boosie was in jail and they did speak on the phone and Boosie gave him permission, obviously jail phones are recorded. Uh, so, like I say, we'll, it, maybe it will get that deep. When you're talking about millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars, then, of course, it can get as deep as it gets. Uh, but we'll just have to see how that goes anyways it also looks like fredo bang has now came out and fredo bang you know tell me he got his head down shaking his head and he's at a loss of words because he feels like you know him and rod wave was meshing each other back and forth for a while now potentially gonna do maybe more songs together but it looks like rod wave who's actually the only feature on nba young boys album has now Stop texting Fredo Bang. You know what I'm talking about? Now, Fredo Bang feels like the only reason Rod Wave ain't hitting me back or texting me back is because now he cool with NBA Youngboy. You know what I'm talking about? And obviously, NBA Youngboy, Fredo Bang ain't don't really see eye to eye. Even though I believe they did do an event together. Well, not those two, but their teams potentially did an event together, giving back to the community. And I guess people thought maybe they had smoothed it all out and there was no issues between the two. But obviously, it looks like there still is. And if there wasn't, there definitely is now because obviously, Obviously, NBA young boy don't take nobody mentioning his name lightly. And then in this court, in this situation, obviously you can hear what Fredo Bang is saying right here. Tell Rodway he see right here. I know he best friends with dude now. That's why he stopped texting me. But it's all good. You know what? No, I ain't telling. Him. It's all love, man. Uh, I ain't mad at y'all, but. And from what he said, it does look like there's still some tension between those two camps. At least they were able to come together and do something for the community for that one time. But at the end of the day, pride is always still going to be high. Ego always still going to be high. And it ain't over to all the ops is dead. And that's just how it goes. Anyways, let me know some. Do y'all think Boosie Brother TQ is capping? Or do you feel like Boosie's capping? Because I've been reading the comment section. I've heard stuff against TQ, but I've also seen stuff against Boosie saying that he's lost a lot of credibility uh, for a lot of stuff. And then, of course, you know, as far as the Rod Wave situation, do you think it's smarter for Rod Wave to have a relationship with NBA Youngboy or with Fredo Bang or just stay in the middle and have a relationship with both? Can he do that? Can he not do that? Let me know some. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.